దేవీ భాగవతం బుక్ త్రీ చాప్టర్ టూ ఆన్ రుద్రాస్ గోయింగ్ టువర్డ్స్ ద హెవెన్ ఆన్ ద సెలెస్టియల్ కార్ వ్యాసా సెడ్ ఓ మైటీ ఆర్మ్డ్ కురు వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఆస్కడ్ మీ జస్ట్ నౌ ఐ ఆల్సో ఆస్కడ్ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ టు నారద ద లార్డ్ ఆఫ్ ద మునీస్ అండ్ హీ గేవ్ మీ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ రిప్లై ఓ వ్యాసా వాట్ షెల్ ఐ సే టు యూ ఆన్ దిస్ పాయింట్ మోర్ దెన్ దిస్ దట్ ఎ డౌట్ అకర్డ్ టు మీ ఆల్సో ఇన్ మై ఫార్మర్ డేస్ ది క్వశ్చన్ దట్ you have put to me today rose in my mind before and i went to my father brahma of endless energy and asked to him thus o lord o father when sees this whole brahmanda born have you created it or is it vishnu or maheshwara o all pervading soul who is there in this brahmanda fit to be worshiped o lord of the world who is the topmost lord ruling over everything kindly say o brahma O Brahman, I am plunged in this sea of maya and perils. My heart is agitated with doubts. Hence, it is not appeased in any place of pilgrimage or in thinking any devas or in practicing any sadhana or in any other object. O sinless one, give me the answers duly and thus remove my doubts. O tormentor of foes, unless the highest truth is not known, peace is not found. This heart... distracted in various ways cannot rest fixed on one subject whom am i to remember whom to worship where to go whom to practice who is the supreme god this universe i do not understand these things o satyavati sasan hearing these my serious queries brahma the grand sire of being replied to me as follows o highly illustrious son what more shall i say to you than this that even vishnu is unable to answer your questions so difficult are they indeed o great intelligent one nobody that is attached to the world knows anything about this thus who are unattached to this world who are free from any envy these who are without desires and claim these high souled ones know the secret of all this in former days when all was water water everywhere and all things moving and non moving were destroyed when five elements were sprung then i was also born from the lotus navel of vishnu then not seeing moon sun trees or mountains or anything and sitting on the center of the lotus thought thus when i am born in this great ocean of waters who has created me who is now my protector and who will be my destroyer when this cycle ends there is no earth distinctly visible anywhere here on what then this mass of water rests lotus is termed pankaja because it springs from mud and dirt so unless there exists the earth underneath with mud and dirt how this lotus will come out here now let me try and find out where is the root of this lotus where is the mud and dirt if this be found then the earth will be also certainly there thus thinking i dived underneath the water and searched for 1000 years but could not find earth anywhere when the celestial voice entered my ears practice tapasya hearing the celestial voice i sat on the lotus my birth place and practiced tapasya for 1000 years next the celestial voice came again create hearing this i became quite confounded and began to think within myself now what am i to create what to do after this the two terrible daityas madhu and kaitaba came to me and afraid and frightened me saying fight with us i became quite terrible and holding the stem of the lotus i became quite terrified and holding the stem of the lotus i got down within the water there i saw a wonderful person sleeping on the ananta serpent he was of a deep blue color like a rain cloud wearing yellow clothes four armed garlanded with flowers with forest flowers and the lord of this whole universe on the four arms of his of this mahavishnu there were conch shells disc club and lotus and other weapons i saw this achyuta purusha sleeping on the ananta serpent bed motionless and under, under the influence of yoga nidra i then thought within myself what am i to do not being able to find out any other way i recollected the devi who was then of the nature of sleep and began to praise her the auspicious devi yoga nidra whose form could not be determined 
immediately left the body of Vishnu and decorated with divine ornaments, began to shine in the air. After she left the body of Vishnu, Vishnu immediately got up, and he fought terribly for five thousand years with the Danavasa, Madhu Kaitaba. Then, by the grace of the Bhagavati, he extended his own thighs, and then on those thighs he slept. He slew the two demons. Where Vishnu and myself were standing, Rudra Deva came also and joined with us. Then we three saw the beautiful Devi in the celestial space. We three then commenced to chant hymns to her, and she gladdened our hearts by her gracious look, and said, O Brahma, O Vishnu, O Ridra, the two great Daityas are slain. Now forsake your laziness and do your respective works of creating, preserving and destroying the universe. Create your own abodes and live in happiness. Create by your respective lordly powers the fourfold beings. Hearing the Devi's gentle sweet words, we spoke, O Mother, there is no wide earth here. All is one mass of infinite ocean. No five elements, no five tanmatras, no sensual organs, no gunas, nothing exists here. How can we then execute the works of creation, etc.? Hearing our words, the Devi smiled. Immediately, there came from the sky over her the beautiful aerial car. The Devi said, O Brahma, O Vishnu, O Rudra, get in this car without any fear. Today I will show you one wonderful thing. At her word, we got into the beautiful car without any fear. It was decorated with various gems and jewels, bedecked with pearls, emitting sweet tinkling sounds of bells and looking as the abode of the celestials. Seeing us seated without any fear, she made the car get high up in the sky by her force. Thus ends the second chapter of the third skanda on Brahma, Vishnu and Rudra going towards the heavens on the celestial car given by the Devi in the Mahapurana Srima Devi Bhagavatam of 18,000 verses by Maharishi Veda Vyasa. Book 3, Chapter 2 completed. Srima Tre Namaha.